Hi guys! So in this video, I'll be unboxing a new kitchen appliance that I just bought. Um, it's the Hamilton Beach brand of food processor. I've used this exact uh, brand before and it broke down recently, but because I like it so much and it was really useful for me, I decided to buy exactly the same brand. By the way, this video is not a sponsored video. I'm just telling you about a new kitchen appliance that I just bought. So I'll be unboxing it right now. So let's do this together. which I just removed. Here is the manual. So this is the food processor and uh, I believe this is the lid. Like I said earlier on, I've used this exact brand before and one of the reasons why I decided to buy exactly the same brand is because, uh, because um, I use it for making pando yam. It's actually good for making real pando yam with real yam, not the pando yam flour. That's one of the reasons why I decided to buy it again because it's a good one for pounded yam. So that's the lid and I'll actually be doing a video to demonstrate how I use this to make pounded yam. So please watch out for that video because I'm going to do it shortly, like in the next few weeks. Um, so here's the lid and uh, So it goes in this way and it locks. So this is the food processor fully installed. The installation is not complex. Basically it has, the lid has a locking mechanism here, which you just have to snap in place. Like this. And um, before you start using, you place this on top of the lid just to cover that area and uh, the unit also comes with a sliding or shredding disc for shredding applications like when you need to shred some vegetables this is also uh, this can be used for it and uh, but the description is fully explained in the manual how to use this for shredding vegetables and other things that you want to shred And here is the cable, the control buttons are here, we have the off, low, high, and the pulse. That's basically it. It's a very simple equipment to use and the installation is very easy. Apart from pounder yam, it's also good for making vegetable puree of different consistencies. Even if you want to make vegetable puree without adding any water, like very thick puree. This uh, 
food processor is really good for that and that's one of the reasons why I decided to buy it again. So watch out for the video where I'm going to show you how I use this to make tandoor yam. So thanks for watching my unboxing video. I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed, remember to subscribe, turn on my notification bell and um, watch out for my next video. Thank you and have a great week. Cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.